Hello friends, welcome to another video. Thanks for joining us. Today we are doing Harry Potter versus Lord of the Rings. What I like about the Lord of the Rings uh, packaging is the gold band around that. I thought that was really cool and the hand on the outside. Very, very epic. What I did really like was this little faux hay box. Like, it feels very medieval. And this little map was so cute. I love the details of these Make It Miniverse sets. These things are a bit addicting since I started doing them. And I'm sure a lot of people feel that same way. Now, when I saw the silicone mold, I was like, yes, I get a sword. I really wanted the stupid sword or dagger <laughs> really bad. But lo and behold, I did not get the the cool sword. Like these two right here is what I wanted. <laughs> that elven dagger. So cool. Here's all the instructions. So I forgot to warm up the resin in my hands before I started this and shake the bottle. So I had a little difficulty at first getting that in there, but it did take quite a while to, to do this. I did what they mentioned to not get bubbles, but I still got a couple bubbles. I should have tapped the mold a little bit. It was rainy that day, so this did take one whole day to dry. I had to put it outside the next day, but as you can see, it's all done. I was supposed to have this little tape wrap and I must have lost that. I didn't even see that at all in the actual set here. Okay, so we're doing the Harry Potter set now. I already feel like this one's gonna be better than the Lord of the Rings one because the Lord of the Rings one honestly wasn't that exciting. This has a lot more stuff you can play with in here and make a little set out of. So I did make a little boo-boo. You're supposed to pour these in separately before you make add the second batch. But of course, you know, I'm always screwing up the direction somehow, so.
Now the mistake I made last time was I was unaware that this was an actual potion bottle because I'm stupid and I didn't read the directions all the way. Always rushing everything. But that's what makes this set really cool. Unlike the Lord of the Rings one where you can't really use the, the bubble again. But the potion bottles don't fit in there so you can't really make your full little scene is the only downside to that. So in comparing these two, like I said, the Harry Potter set is better in my opinion, the two that I've done. Uh, just has more exciting elements, probably more fun for younger uh, people to do. And the Lord of the Rings one is cool and very goth. And I love the little details of it, but I'm going to give Lord of the Rings three out of five. I'm going to give Harry Potter a four out of five. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching.